So, Craig, with each uh, overtime game-winning kick, Randy just seems to be getting more and more comfortable. Yeah, he does. Uh, you know, obviously, it's it's fun watching him going out there and competing and, and making those types of kicks. Uh, you know, we, we went and talked to him before that drive and just asked him, hey, where do you want the ball at? And the greatest thing about him, he's like, I don't care where the ball is, whether it's on the right hash, left hash, middle of the field, I'm going to make the kick. And obviously, you feel pretty comfortable when your kicker tells you that. So uh, really happy for him. We had a re really good operation. We blocked well, and, and Randy ended up doing his job, which was, which was great for us. After the last two and a half years of uh, issues at kicker and the changing faces, do, do you get a chance to look, breathe a little bit and relax, or uh, you, you just wait to see what the next kick does? Uh, I, I would say no, because we don't really relax too much, but we're obviously very confident in Randy's ability to make these types of kicks, uh, whether it's a game winner, whether it's a 44-yarder in the first quarter, a 50-yarder. Um, we feel really confident in him going out there and doing his job. So, um you know, we're, we're always holding our breath because we always want to do really well, obviously. So, um, you know, that part always just comes with it. And, you know, we'll continue to get confidence in, in Randy when he makes all of his kicks. What's the process like pregame? I know he talked about you know, the roof being open, the window being open. That kind of affects things from each side of the field. When you play at a different stadium or play in a different conditions, what's the pregame like as far as knowing what you're up against? Yeah, we, we like those guys both, uh, obviously, Brett and Randy, to get out there early to see what it's like, whether we're in a dome, whether they're going to open up the windows, whether we're in California here. Uh, you know, going to go play the Rams. Uh, it's always different because the guy's got to go out and get a feel of what it's like, whether it's the wind, the rain, uh, where the sun's coming at, all that different types of things where they can feel comfortable at the end of the game knowing where, okay, I got a right to left win, I want to be on this hash, or I have a left to right win, I want to be in the middle of the field. So they'll get that pregame, they'll talk to me, they'll talk to obviously uh, James and Matt and uh, let us know what they're thinking and then hopefully we can go out there and get the job done. Got Hilliard back there to return kicks last week. What is keeping you guys from just being able to have a consistent guy back there that can settle in and be your return? Yeah, I mean, obviously we, we got to continue to understand, um, you know, what we want back there as a returner. And uh, we're going to try guys out as much as we can and see who that guy is going to be. But, uh, you know, we haven't had many chances the past three games, four games, because people have been kicking touchbacks. Uh, but we're getting a, plenty of practice in it. And uh, whoever steps up, whether it's Dontrell, whether it's Deontay Freeman, whether it's Marcus Johnson again, um, Jeremy McNichols, uh, we'll continue to roll out the guy who we best feel can help us win games. Something in particular that, that you're looking for for that guy to, to be that guy? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're looking for a guy who has no fear. We talk about guy who's going to run through the smoke. If it gets a little dirty in there, they got to run through it. We got to break arm tackles. We can't stutter our feet in the hole. Uh, we're looking at a guy who's just going to go out there and run as fast as he can and make one cut. And uh, if there's guys in there, we're going to ask them to, to run through that smoke and see if they can break an arm tackle. I know Mike kind of raved about Dontrell, just how you handled himself last week coming in here, spending extra time. Was he, was he like that with you? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, uh, you know, those guys and, and all of our players, uh, they'll come in and meet with myself, Matt Edwards, uh, just trying to get themselves better. You know, we, we really appreciate the professionalism that these guys have of wanting to get better. Um, and that's by studying film, meeting with us extra, Don Trell, Marcus Johnson. I mean, I don't know if you guys uh, saw this at the end of the game. Um, Marcus Johnson really didn't practice on our kickoff coverage. And we asked him to go in there because we had a few injuries. Marcus Johnson goes down there and makes a tackle on, on our kickoff coverage uh, when he hadn't practiced it all week. So uh, those are the guys that you really enjoy coaching because they're going to take their job serious. And if you ask them to do something that you know, maybe they hadn't practiced in a while, doesn't matter to them because they're going to go and get the job done. Bullock, a little different. You mentioned that he said, doesn't matter where it is, I'll, I'll put it in. In, in your experience, the most kickers have a preference, get me left, get me right, get me middle, something. Yeah, some of them do. Some of them like certain hashes um, distance-wise. 
Uh, some of them, you know, want the ball in the middle of the field. Uh, it all just depends on, on the kicker. Uh, and that could, of course, change during the course of the game, whether it's the wind or anything like that. You know, at the beginning of the game, they might tell us, like, hey, I really want it the right hash at the end of the half or end of the game. But if the wind ends up moving, they'll come and talk to us and say, hey, listen, I know I told you something earlier, but with the way the wind's going, I'd like to have it on this hash. And that's where James also comes in, too, talking to those guys, communicating with one another, um, what they're feeling, um, what's best for them, and then they communicate that to me. And then, you know, as Randy did, you know, making a great kick at the end of the game. Asking that question, I, I, do you just leave a kicker to himself as that situation approaches and, and let him be in his own head there, or do you talk to him a, a bunch leading up to a situation like that? Yeah, uh, you know, it's a little bit different um, because sometimes I will talk to them. Sometimes I'll have James talk to them. Um, I really like them to really focus on uh, their mental part, though, beforehand. Uh, so I don't really go and bog them down with a lot of questions. Uh, I don't sit over there and, and really focus in and sit there and watch them to make sure everything's okay. They, they know what they have to do. And uh, I, I just like them to go off on the side, get them mentally prepared as far as those guys understand how to kick and how to punt. I just sit back there and watch. And uh, then when it comes down to it, they just give me the nod like oh, I'm ready. And I said, all right. It's good. And we're ready to go. As long as I get the nod, I'm feeling confident and comfortable with those guys uh, to go out there and do their job. What do you think of heck, Heckler's uh, watermelon punt? Like, what kind of challenges did that present to you guys in the turn? Yeah, I mean, you see more kickers and punters doing a lot of different things now. And, and Johnny has done a, a great job in his career with a bunch of different types of punts. Uh, that watermelon punt, you know, Luckily enough, Brett can hit that too, where we can practice on that. Uh, so, you know, we just got to get those guys comfortable of catching something like that. Logan Cook's done it with Jacksonville a little bit, so we've practiced um, for him. Uh, it's just those guys just understanding how it's punted differently. I mean, the one that he ended up doing this year, he looked like he was going to punt it 20 yards OB to his left. And that ball went in the middle of the field. So we just got to understand certain situations he's going to kick those banana type or watermelon type kicks. And we just got to be able to have confidence of getting underneath the ball and catching it. For the Rams do well, what were some of the things you look forward to facing? Well, usually when you face the Rams or even Joe D. Camillus when he was with Jacksonville or Chicago or Denver, um, you really got to hone in on some of the exotics that they end up doing. They haven't done it this year, but, uh, you know, Johnny Hecker's thrown 19 passes in his career, and uh, he's been really good at it. I mean, obviously, he's a former quarterback. He's got a great arm. You know, those are the ones things that we're going to really focus in on, some of their exotics, their fakes, um, formational stuff uh, that Joe D. and uh, Johnny has been a part of for, for years. Uh, but, you know, they've always been really good in the return game. Uh, I know that doesn't show right now with them, but, uh, you know, they can always go back there and get a big return. So we got to do an excellent job in our coverage units. And then obviously their specialists have done a great job this year. Um, so we, we, we're going to have our hands full. We're going to hopefully uh, go out there and, and compete and do our best.